Hello everyone, I've just managed to come outside to make a little quick video of how to make the bunting that you can see behind me. Uh, I've been putting some plants up in my greenhouse and it just seemed to get out nice enough to do it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you just how um, new my videoing is because I've got a bit of a jerry-rigged um, setup uh, just in front of me. So I'm going to cut to that now. So I've got my things set out, ready to make the bunting. So what we're going to need is um, four paper tissues, paper napkins. can be anything, these are just ones I happen to have. These actually somebody sent me a present and they packed tissue napkins all around them. They were crumpled up and I flattened them out and kept them. Uh, so you can get them from all over but they're not very expensive. You get a pen or a pencil a little ruler, some garden string, a glue stick and a paper scissors. Uh, you definitely need a cup of tea. In fact, I'll pour it now. Um, I'm going to make my cup of tea. That's my, about my third cup. Uh, so I've got to be lubricated. And uh, my phone is going to go on this contraption. So I've got a washing can. It actually grows a fern. In fact, two ferns. But what I've done is I've put my embroidery hoop clamp in there because I can move it about. So I'm going to clamp my phone into this and I'm going to hope I can manage to film this little video. Okay, well the wind's just got up a little bit so I've had to weight my napkins down. That won't matter as long as if they fly away, they fly away. Okay, so you just need your garden string going to keep about 40 centimetres or a foot and a half or so at the end we're just going to leave that so you've got somewhere to tie it on to wherever you do so we're going to start from there take your first napkin you can see it's folded into quarters so we're going to leave it in quarters we're going to keep all the open point bits down at the bottom and fold it on the diagonal across those points like that I'm going to just mark it. Now, I wouldn't normally mark it, but this is to give you an idea. About two and a half inches, and that is six and a half centimetres up. And if you really want to, you can draw a line from the mark down to the point. If you want to be, you know, knowing that you're making the right line, but really, it's not. A, it's not a stressful thing it's just cutting a line so don't worry if you don't want to mark it it doesn't matter you're going to take your scissors cut from the point up towards your mark don't throw these away we will use them I'll put that down on that. And when you open this up you've got a lovely little kite shape that's still attached by its folds so we're going to cut the folds put the scissors in cut that one and then each one is a pair joined by a fold. So put the scissors in again and cut that one. That one again, it's a pair of pennants, tight shapes, joined together by the fold, you see. So we're just going to put the scissors in and cut that one too. I'm going to do that again with the next piece. And I'll just weight them down so that they don't fly away. There's my folded up napkin with all the points at the bottom. We'll fold along the diagonal of those points. Put a little mark two and a half inches up. This time I'm not going to bother drawing that line because I'm just going to aim for there. I'm going to aim from the point straight up to that mark. Keep your bits. Open it out. You've got four joined together. Oh, can't find the opening. There we are, four joined together. All you need to do is just keep it in its little folded up napkin way. Put your scissors in and cut through the fold. And then again, put your scissors in and cut through the fold there. And put your scissors in 
and quick through the fold there too. To give you four kite shapes. Put my scissors on there. So to make the bunting, all we're going to do, we're going to leave that little end so you can tie it on. And then take one of our kite shapes and turn it over so the front face, the pretty bit, is away from you. I just move these just in case I'm not in frame. The pretty bit's away from you. I'm going to take our glue stick and just put a piece of glue down along those, that, that, those points there, right away along, and one little dab on the point. Lie the string across, fold it over, press it down. Hey presto, one little pennant waiting to hang up and flutter in the breeze. I'll do it again with the next bit. Take this one. Make good part. Yes, sir. So, pretty side down. I usually leave about two inches apart from the previous one. So, we're going to go across with our print stick, glue stick, dab on there. Two inches. Or is that five centimetres possibly? Lay your string, fold it over, press it down well. Two, straight away. I'll do one more. Oh, I'll, I'll, do, I'll do the corners now. So what I do, I don't like to throw these bits away. So I don't like to waste things. And actually, when you take them, two together, make another triangle. So what I do is, I open that up, put a bit of glue at the fold, go my two inches and fold it over. And I don't do the points this time because they go all the way down so they look nice fluttering. And then I get another one of the triangle bits they cut off. And I match it up to the other one. Of course I can't open it, can I? Okay, so I'll match it up, snuggle it right up together, my bit of glue stick, and fold it over the string, and there's another one. And I'll try and get them right up next to each other, that's just the way I like to do it. So when you hold them, the little points, because they're not glued together, they flutter really nicely. I'll do one more. I'll do one of the one of the lovely pansies. So you can do what you like. You can do random. You can alternate the little points with the big pennants. You can do all of that. Or you can do all that. You can make random ones, or you can make them all the same. They'd be lovely for Christmas with Christmas ones, or Easter, or... Lovely for birthdays, so I'm going to leave two inches, put down my string, fold it across, and there we go. Well, actually, I've already done that in a minute. I'm going to carry on and finish that, and I'll show you what it's like when I'm done. Here it is, hanging across the corner in the yard very pretty and I didn't even take four napkins I've still got I could probably make the same amount again nearly but they hang really pretty the two corners that you cut off they look pretty no waste five minutes I hope you do that. Have a go and make your garden pretty or your yard or your house. You can have bunting anywhere you like, especially when it's not really costing you very much. Bye for now. Thank you.